All right, I'm back again with another Tim talk. Um, I want this one. Um, it'll be following up the one we just talked about: ceremony, creating your own ceremony. And uh, I want this one to be called "Create Your Own Altar." Create your own altar. Um, so first, I have to talk a little bit about. Medicine. And the word medicine, I don't know for sure, but I think it comes from some of our Native American ancestors um, when they found beautiful things in nature that represented something powerful or spiritual or something they loved, uh, like a power animal or something like that, they would call it medicine. We think of medicine as like modern medicine, going to the doctor. That's another type of medicine. This is medicine from the earth. It's energetic often. So an altar is a, another way. In creating an altar, it's another way of saying, I love you, my earth, my great planet. I love you. And so one of the ways I'm going to show that love is by creating this altar space that I can sit and meditate with and think about how wonderful you are, my earth, and how much I can do to help you as I become an earth caretaker. So an altar can be in your home, uh, in a, your room, you know, on a dresser or in a, in a drawer or on a corner. An altar can be in your yard. Um, an altar can be out somewhere in nature, just secretly somewhere in nature. An altar um, can be in a place you like to sit and spend a lot of time. Um, an altar can be incredibly uh, beautiful and fancy and wildly full of things. And it can last for years, if not even a lifetime. Or it can be more temporary. And it, an altar, I look at an altar as, there's different types. Like I would look at the, one of the more powerful ones is creating an altar um, that's absolutely beautiful that that is about your life and it's a reflection of your love of the earth and your love of the gift of life and your love of purpose of doing something that makes the world better such as being a lever not a taker the altar represents that and it can be a big altar because you can add to it as you go on your life's journey and things come your way beautiful things you find in nature or gifts along the way from nature or people, you can add them to your altar. And then you can sit in front of that altar and you can pray in your own unique way. You can write in your journal in your own unique way. You can let the altar inspire you. And each thing that's on the altar will have a story. It will have come to you in some way. It will have its own life. And you'll know that. And you put all those things together on the altar and the altar becomes a community of things that represent the stories of your life. That's an awesome thought, right? Or you can make an altar to represent something like we just made an altar for the COVID-19 people who got the virus. A place that we could sit and pray and wish the best for those people. Um, we've made altars on our land for animals that are killed on the road by cars and by humans, by flying into windows and things, to help us to remember these beings and to try to do better by them. Um, we've made altars for our animals that have passed away, our dogs. And I've made altars for my parents, my mother, my father, and my sister who passed away. Um, we can make altars to help us to remember our commitment to certain things or where we want to go in life or who we are. Um, again, um, it's endless. It's, it's literally endless what you can do. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, the, the idea of what you put on the altar. Um, so my altar is full of feathers that I found in nature. Um, or were gifted to me by a teacher or a friend or something like that. Um, rocks, often rocks that I'm a big believer in the heart. So 
I'm always looking for art rocks that are arty, kind of art rocks, and they are shaped like a heart or colored like a heart. And those are on the altar. And uh, I can say beautiful pieces of driftwood, things from nature like that, bark, leaves, dried flowers, dried beautiful fall leaves. I've even put all kinds of animal parts, like bones are a big one. Um, I mentioned feathers. They're really a big one. Um, you name it. Um, and, and if you just ask for it and then you just be aware as you live your life, many altar items will show up. <clears throat> and uh, my main altar is one I've, I've had in my house for years and that gets added to over and over again. <clears throat> and also sometimes I'll be sitting at the altar and I'll be praying in my own way of thinking about it and all of a sudden a bone from a bear or a tooth from a bear or some skin from a mountain lion or a beautiful piece of driftwood from a beach I went to or something will say, I gotta go, I gotta go. So I'll either take it and I'll put it out into nature again, I'll give it, give it back to the earth. In so doing, I'm practicing non-attachment. I'm not holding on to it, I'm not hoarding it, I'm not being greedy. Or I'll gift it to someone and let them have it and it'll find a new home. No attachment to what they do with it. When it's a gift given, it's theirs. And some things I'll keep a whole lifetime, you know. Some things are more powerful than others. Um, like, there's no animal that I respect more to me than a golden eagle or a bear. So if I'm lucky enough to find an eagle feather or uh, a bear piece of bear hide or something um, in nature, then, oh my gosh, you know, that's like the gift for my altar. Um, altars can also, um, if you think about it, um, like I said, I have I made altars to my parents, and I put on that one those ones I put, you know, photographs and memories of my time with them and things I did together with my mother, my father, and my sister all who have passed away. Um, my animals I might make a picture of my animals and put it on the altar, and then maybe put their collar on there, and you know maybe some hair from them, and maybe a poem I wrote or a story I wrote about them, you know. Um, an altar can be one for a group. You can make an altar for a group. Like we have an outdoor school and just let people put whatever they feel like putting on it. Could be rings or um, necklaces or things they carve or make art pieces from nature. Animal parts they found or dried animals they found. Things like that. That could be on an altar. Um, an altar is just simply another thing you can use. to You create it and it allows you to express your love of the earth, it helps you to keep your commitment to being an earth caretaker and doing good for the planet. It's fun. It's a form of art. It's beautiful. It's inspiring. Um, if other people are lucky enough to see it, it can inspire them. It's hopeful. It allows you to live through hope. It allows you to see the good things, not always the bad, which is so easy to get lost in the bad because there's so much of it. But it helps to remember there is so much good too. So think about it. Build an altar. Build many altars. Have fun doing it. And it'll change your life. Take care. Oh.